Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to show you a really good, simple way of you trying to sync your hands with your body. Over the last few weeks, I've given a lot of golf lessons to people that have had a little break due to COVID, and they've come back and they're just not quite on song. And they hit a few shots, and basically what's happening is their, their body and hands are out of sync with each other. So, generally speaking, and this is a simple way of, of thinking about it, how far does the golf club head travel in a golf swing? It actually travels a long way. How far do the hands travel in a golf swing? Well, they don't travel as far as the club head, but they do travel a reasonable distance. How far do the shoulders travel in a golf swing? Well, they travel not as much as the hands. And how far do the hips travel in a golf swing? Not as much as the shoulders. So we've got four different components and every one of those components is traveling a greater distance than the other. So if we think about it and we get to the top of the backswing and we're coming down, this travels the least, followed by this, followed by my hands, followed by my club. And if we're going to make really good contact, what we're really trying to do is get everything lined up or synced up at impact. So it's a good thing to do to practice your impact position. And the way I get people to do that is to take their setup keeping their hands and their left shoulder where it is, just turn the hips a little bit that way, and that's pretty much impact. So golf is a dynamic game, there's movement, it's not just a still position. So your hips will be just a fraction that way, a little bit more weight on the left foot, but everything else is pretty much the setup. So if that's the position we want to get into, when we get up here, what don't we want to give a head start to? Well, if we give the hips a head start, that's going to get to the point where it's too far in front of everything else. Because remember, we're trying to get back into that position. We don't want to give too much of a head start to the hips or the shoulders because they don't have very far to travel. The golf club has a long way to travel. So if we're going to give something a head start, and you're out of sync, generally your body is well in front of the club head. So what I like people to do is to think about a little half swing. And we're trying, this is all about trying to get you better synced and closer to impact. So if we just take our setup and we just do a little shot, little half swing through to there. Just a little half shot, most people can do that pretty comfortably, there's no real effort involved. And you can even do this with a driver, tee it up and just get everything sinking. So it's just nice and smooth, little half swing, club comes through and we're creating that position at impact. So of course, when we do swing and don't mis misunderstand what I'm saying, I'm not saying that that doesn't move first. The kinematic sequence dictates that the hips go first, the shoulders go second, the hands coming through third, and then the club head comes through. That's automatically going to happen. But sometimes we just give our body a bit of a head start, which makes the club head hard to catch up, and that usually sends the ball out to the right. So if you can do those little half swing drills, just like I've done there, you're not really moving your body much. It's just that half swing. Hands coming through and they're three good quality crisp shots. Do that for a little while and then suddenly go into the fuller swing and you're gonna find you're gonna hit better shots. So that's really how I get people to sink. Start with the half swing, gradually build up to three quarters, get to the full swing and you'll find you'll start playing the best golf of your life. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. 
I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.